Angel of 59 here to show you guys how to make this Star Wars wall art. For this project, I'm using two 1x5x6 by by feet long pine wood. And on my miter saw here, I have a stop lock already set up. That way, all my pieces are cut to the exact same length. For the back piece to hold the two pieces of wood together, I'm using just scrap material, just left over from a cutoff from a 2x4, but you will certainly have material left over from the other material. You can always make your own back strips and then just set your stop block in position so that you can cut them all the same length. For applying the two pieces together, just adding a little bit of wood glue. Down the middle. And I just have a clamp in place for the one. Now I'm going to add a little bit of glue. To my back piece here. And I'm just using my drill with a countersink bit. And I'm just using a screw to hold it together. And make sure you just slowly tighten it. Don't over tighten it because you will split the wood. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones. I do find that um, it is a little bit loose. You could leave it, but what I'm going to do is just take a clamp and it pushes the board together. And with this glue, you just have to let it sit for 30 minutes. going to be using a uh, bare premium uh, deck stain just in a sample piece and a solid and on the color I'm using is slate. I have already done the edges here I'm just going to be doing the top. I find with this product you do have to work a little bit quickly because it tends to dry a little bit faster so I tend just to put it on I'm just using a rag here. and let this dry overnight. For the image, I used my Cricut machine to cut it out and used vinyl to place it on. Now, if you didn't have a craft machine or anything like that, you certainly could download the free plans I provide and use the X-Acto knife to cut out the image and then just paint your stencil on. But before I go ahead and do that, once you have your vinyl on, what I did find was it is easier to add a clear coat on first that way then the clear coat will bleed um, past any areas that way when you paint it doesn't bleed everywhere so I'm just using just a Verithane semi gloss finish and let this dry for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to use 320 grit sandpaper and just lightly sand. And all we're trying to do is rough up the clear coat so the paint will stick to it. And also it helps too so that the 
vinyl breaks the edges when we peel it away, doesn't bond to it. Once you're done, you just want to take a rag and just get all that dust off. For adding the paint, I am using Americana's uh, Decor Chalky Finish, and this is their plain white. I believe it's called Everlasting. And I'm just using a painter's brush, or artist brush. And I'm just going to lightly apply it on. Don't want it too thick. Just nice so that we can cover it. And just make sure you do your brush strokes all in the same direction. I'm going to let this dry for 30 minutes and then I'll put on a second coat. To remove the vinyl, as you can see here I already have done some, just using a Cricut pick tool and some tweezers. Usually it comes with in your kit and I usually just like to go in just a little bit. You just want to be careful you don't push too deep in because you don't want to put scratches. clear coat I'm going to be using a Verithane diamond matte wood finish and I'm going to apply my coat on top I've already done the outside edges and you just want to apply a little bit on and kind of go back in forth And when I have a certain amount, I usually do sections about, I don't know, three, four inches wide. Then I just take my brush and just go with the direction of the grain. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for about two hours and then I'll apply another coat. So you want to have two coats in total. On the back, I just added a hanger, that way it's easier to hang on the wall. Here are other Star Wars wall art that I did. And also, thanks for checking out this video. All links are in the description below for this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to share this video and post your comments below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Thanks for watching.